You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> Okay, I'm up. For Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the rounds soon. Doctor? What doctor? This can't be real. Decent. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. Do you have any idea who I am? Sure I do. Bruce Wayne. <laughs> the spoiled brat that nearly beat his replacement to death when they took away his company. And now you're here. Exactly where you belong. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. God, there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. Go on then. Hit me. Don't get cocky, Wayne. Like I told you, Doctor, these creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy is tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. <clears throat> I don't really know what happened. This is all a blur. Seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. We'll need to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? 
<laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side for There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! You know, Doc, our last session was so enlightening. Well, that's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! <laughs> you gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. <laughs> You remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well, betting <laughs> patience to... No, no, you, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill you me. You don't know the president. No! <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> then stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number, dumbass! Stop! I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. I'm gonna take good care of him. Welcome to Arkham Asylum! <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit you know, prone to outbursts of violence? I can handle myself. Ooh, I know you can. But let's save that for later. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! The remote. One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh! I almost forgot. Here. What is this? Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. And Never anything good on, is there? Your key it didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's... That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one... This one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. 
After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Double crossing, <laughs> two-faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. This isn't a joke. Their war is going to destroy Gotham. That's what makes it so funny. All those people caught in the middle. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicki. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicki is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicki and her drugs, huh? Get your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically. Something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. and dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead! After everything Oswald has done to me, yeah, I'm kinda glad it happened, because he deserved it. Am I glad to see you embracing those feelings? They're very natural. Especially a guy like you, who clearly takes after his father. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped Bump off her parents! Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well... murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. You two are a lot alike, you know? You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I <sighs> assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But 
What's one favor between friends? I'm not doing any favors for you, John. And here I thought we were getting along so well. We can keep working on our friendship when we meet again, can't we? All right, tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Ah! No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now! My skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone get me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. And according to John, it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. I tried to stop it. The, the, the whole thing was the sick game. You would understand if you were there. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. Superintendent says he's a liability. Having him here creates an unsafe environment. His butler's here to collect him. Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Ah, oh, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. Dr. Leland, you know it isn't safe for me here. Look at what happened today. That won't be the last time. That may be true, but I would never let that hinder someone from getting the help they need. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. Ask the fails. Ask her parents. <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> What do you mean, you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news, yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? Funny, I thought you could handle yourself. Oh, I can. I just also know when it's time to make myself scarce. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? Fine. Then I won't stop you. Just go. 
Bruce, don't make this harder than it needs to be. We're both grown-ups. And in our line of work, I'm sure we'll cross paths again. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? We got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. See you around. Good luck with... all of this. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. We have to do something. Don't get in my way, Al. I wouldn't dream of stopping you, but let's address the problem at hand first. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vale's drug. Yes, of course. If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. This cure is based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. To cure other people, we'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them an antidote. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. So this needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky... Lady Arkham has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman! Trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. She's a monster. To do what she did. She has no sense of morality. She was playing me the entire time. Breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce... There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh... met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. Well, trustworthy or not, it's the best lead we have. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. Got it. Bruce! 
Yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. I'm inside the Vale House. Alfred, the Vales are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred, I think someone's still in the house, going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Anything? No. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Hey, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna be all right. Something bad happened out here. I know it might be scary, but I need your help. Can you do that? Okay. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs, fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Get down. Ah! Well, 
hello, Batman. What a <laughs> pleasure to see you. Penguin. Let me guess. You're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. I've got these little bat traps all over the city, but I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out in the open. Are you safe? Were you wounded? I'm okay. <gasps> They're dead. I'm so sorry that I couldn't save your parents. You don't know how sorry. I promise I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman, and no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true, and I will always owe you one. Batman! Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on, let's get you out of here. He saved me. Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? Just make sure he's taken care of and doesn't fall through the cracks. After what he's been through, he needs a good home. Yeah, I... I actually know the drill. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant, what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. So your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. Alfred, get Lucius on the line for me, please. Of course. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. EMP functionality is all in the green. It should have worked. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. Bruce, I have Lucius on screen now. 
Good evening, Bruce. How can I help? I need you to see something. Sending you schematics. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, I am so sorry. I should have caught this, but he snuck right under my nose. Oh, what a mess. But that sleaze Cobblepot at the heart of it all. Cut yourself some slack, Lucius. There's no way you could have known. I certainly don't blame you for it. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls, but if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're onto him. Cobblepot doesn't know we're onto him. We can't risk losing the element of surprise. I say you do what you need to do, as stealthily as possible. Good plan. I'll get on it right away. Thanks, Lucius. Bruce, you're going to want to see this. Uh, excuse us, Lucius. Of course. Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne Estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. <laughs> You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street! I have to talk to him. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. On the other hand, perhaps Bruce Wayne can appeal to him on a more personal level. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable. Random. Who knows how he will react either way? This is Bruce's problem, not Batman's. I'll take care of it. I believe in you, Bruce. I know you can get through to him. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Why did I do that? Don't screw this up, Harvey. Harvey, we need to talk. If you've come to save your home, you're wasting your time. My mind is made up. What happened to the guy who cared about doing the right thing? This is the right thing, Bruce. Look, I know you're still pissed off at me about sleeping with Selina. I get it. But this has to stop. Now! Gotham deserves a mayor that can focus on cleaning up this city. That's why I'm taking your money, your home, everything. It's time that you started paying your debt to Gotham. For the value of your estate, it could be used to do a lot of good. Believe me, Harvey, I've been paying for them my whole life. I have nothing left to give. I'll be the judge of that. The deal is done. A strong leader doesn't back down. When they see an enemy, they crush them without hesitation. I made a promise to the city that I would make it better. That I would weed out the crime and corruption. You're really living up to your campaign slogan, aren't you, Harv? A new face for Gotham. Is that supposed to be funny? You won't be laughing after you see what I'm about to do to the children of Arkham. What are you talking about? Ready to go. Do it. What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Oh, man. That blast was way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! Man, we lost a bunch of our own guys! The apartment next door! Oh, Jesus Christ! We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. 
That's what a leader does. Hey, how quickly can we get a fire truck here? Does a leader kill innocent people? You're a murderer now. Their deaths are unfortunate. But think about everyone the children of Arkham could have hurt with those drugs. That feels like an acceptable price to pay. I couldn't just destroy the drugs. I had to make a statement. I needed the children of Arkham and any other potential enemies waiting in the shadows to know what I'm capable of. That I'll do anything to protect my city. That I am the guardian of Gotham. After what you've done tonight, everyone in Gotham is going to see who they really elected mayor. And when that happens, they will turn against you. On the contrary, Bruce. This is what Gotham wanted. Oh, I can see tomorrow's headlines already. Hero Mayor saves citizens from Children of Arkham Terror Plot. Meanwhile, somewhere in the back they'll stick the article about Bruce Wayne's tragic suicide. What the hell are you talking about? All the shame you've suffered was just too much for you to bear. Your family's history, getting forced out of your company, losing all your money. No one will question finding you dead in Crime Alley so soon after you got out of Arkham. Tragic, but unsurprising. Maybe even dear old Alfred will shed a tear. <coughs> I hope that was satisfying. That's the last one you get. Shut up! Just wait. Just keep moving. I don't know how you think this is going to end, but trust me, you will regret this. Hey! He said shut up! I know that when you put that uniform on in the morning, you do it because you want to help Gotham. You are better than this! This is not how you help the city! Sometimes. You need to do a little bad to do a lot of good. The children of Arkham are trying to tear the city apart. We're saving it. Yeah, we finally got a leader who wants results. Listen to yourself. You sound brainwashed. No, oh, he hasn't brainwashed us. We're helping it. We're doing the right thing. The mayor is the only one brave enough to take real action against our enemies. Your mayor just blew up a city block. Sometimes to help the greater good, there's a price to pay. People died. Your fellow officers died. I... I... But if you think that's where he's gonna stop, you're just as crazy as he is. I, uh... Um, maybe, uh... Maybe he has a point. Shut up! You just don't get it! You don't understand! That's why we need to take you out. Maybe... Maybe what? Uh... Nothing. Go on then. Pull the trigger. Do it. You're right. Oh god, I was about to... I'm sorry. I knew you didn't have the stones for this. Officer! Drop your weapon! You okay? Yeah. You really showed up in the nick of time. How'd you even find me? Denton just blew up a whole city block. I know, I know. The reports I'm hearing are just awful. Denton's gone way, way too far. He's supposedly trying to stop the children of Arkham, but now he's become a goddamn terrorist himself. A terrorist with half the city's support behind him. God, the amount of blood on his hands. He and Lady Arca might be neck and neck on body count by this point. Dent needs to be stopped, Jim. Now. Or that block won't be the last thing that gets destroyed. Uh, we'll stop him. But it ain't gonna be easy. It's a mess out there. Chris, what's the situation? I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. 
If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. <sighs> Hang on, Lucius. It's Alfred. I'm patching him in. Al, Lucius figured out how Penguin's cracking my security. Here's a device that- I'm afraid we have another problem to deal with. Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? <laughs> Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. I'm going home. Understood. See you soon. Not one step further. Now oh, come on, Al. Put the rifle down. I'm not gonna hurt you. Somehow, I don't believe you. Back away, please, all of you. Jesus, Al, it's me, Harvey. No, not the Harvey I know. The Harvey I know would never have massacred innocent civilians. He isn't a murderer. Murderer? When a general sends his troops to kill the enemy, no one calls it murder. <sighs> they call Penguin it is still murder. hacking my tech. Guess I'll be doing this the old-fashioned way. you doing here? You've destroyed enough lives for one night. I'm taking you in. Oh, I get it. You'll come to Bruce Wayne's aid when he needs it, but not mine. No, not when I needed it. You let that maniac penguin maim me! Look at me! This happened under your watch! I'm sorry I failed you, but it's not too late. Let me save you now. Save me? <laughs> You can't even save Bruce Wayne. He's dead. If you can't see the good I've done for this city, then you're no better than Lady Arkham. Or the Waynes. Now get out of here! Before I have you booked for obstruction of justice. You stand in my way. You stand in the way of the law. <laughs> than this, Harvey. I know. You know what those are? Explosive slugs! <laughs> but you don't have any of those in that little belt of yours! Just try and hide, Batman! See how that works out for you. No! The bat's mine! Go ahead. Do it! See what happens. This old man needs to die. Your head or your heart? That sound. What the? Back! Take the 
Dead Batman. Without me, Gotham is doomed. Who will stop Lady Arkham? The Penguin. You made things worse, Dent. Your ego and your anger stoked the fires until everything was burning. The fact you can't see that shows how deep your delusion goes. No. I'm important. I'm... I'm important! God, he was finally stopped. Nice work, Batman. My job's not done yet. I still need to find Lady Arkham before it's too late. Well, I can take care of all this. Just need to figure out what to do with him. All the innocent lives he's responsible for. He should be locked up in Blackgate Prison. But that broken mind of his will probably only get worse in there. Blackgate is what a murderer like him deserves. He needs to be punished for the atrocities he committed like anyone else. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'll get it taken care of. Stay safe out there. You too, Jim. Al. Al, what's wrong? Bruce, the computer. It's Penguin. We need to cut the hard line now, Bruce. All of your bat tech is linked to this computer. If you take it offline, it will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll have control of all of it. I have to shut it down. 